Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is about nuclear decay equations. Nuclear radiation occurs because of instability in the nucleus of an atom. It becomes more stable by emitting nuclear radiation, which we refer to as decay. There are three types of nuclear radiation. There's alpha, beta and gamma. They occur in different ways and they each have different properties but the aim of their emission is the same we're trying to make an unstable nucleus more stable and in this video we'll go through each of these three and we'll have a look at their nuclear decay equations so alpha radiation is where the nucleus emits an alpha particle which is made up of two protons and two neutrons Therefore, after alpha emission, the mass number and the atomic number both change because the nucleus has lost two protons and two neutrons. Here's an example. So here thorium decays into radium and gives off an alpha particle. An alpha particle here has two protons and two neutrons and is the equivalent of a helium nucleus in that respect. So thorium decays into a different element because the atomic number has changed. And the atomic number changed because two protons were given off as part of the alpha particle. And this is the general formula for alpha emission. So any element, call it X, with a mass number of A and an atomic number of Z, will decay into another element, call it y, where the mass number will be smaller by four and the atomic number will be smaller by two. And in that process, an alpha particle with a mass of four and an atomic number of two will be given off. And if you can remember this general formula, you will be able to represent any alpha emission in equation form. Beta radiation is when a neutron changes into a proton and an electron and the electron is then emitted from the nucleus at high speed. Therefore after beta emission the mass number is unchanged but the proton number increases by one. Here's an example. So here we have potassium and potassium will decay into calcium by beta emission. One of potassium's neutrons will become a proton, hence why the atomic number increases by one, and also an electron, which is given off as a beta particle. Notice how the mass number stays the same as 40. That's because the neutron has turned into a proton and an electron, and a neutron and a proton have the same mass, therefore the mass number will remain the same. But it has gained a proton. So the proton number, or the atomic number, will increase by one. And this is the general formula for beta radiation. So we could have any element, call it X. Again, it has a mass number A and an atomic number Z. And it will decay by beta emission into another element y. The mass number stays unchanged but the atomic number increases by one therefore making it a different element and of course the beta particle is given off. And of course you'll notice that both sides of the equation balance. So here you have z for the atomic number, on the other side you have z plus one and you also have minus one. So the plus one and the minus one will cancel each other out and z is equal to z. So if you can remember this general formula for beta emission, you'll be able to do any equation with any element if it emits a beta particle. Now lastly, let's look at gamma radiation. Gamma radiation does not involve any particles. It's simply electromagnetic radiation that is emitted if the nucleus has too much energy. 
and it can happen after alpha or beta decay and there's no equation because there are simply no particles involved. It's just a wave. So for this, for gamma, there is no equation that you have to learn. Okay, so that was just a quick video on nuclear decay equations. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and share. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.